Hello everybody and welcome back to the Goalie Be A Pro, which is kind of ironic because to start the season I was being anything but a professional. However, last video we did get a goalie goal. And now we are back. And better than ever. Alright, that might be a little bit dramatic, but... Maybe we are. We can already afford 12 perks. I don't want this one because endurance goes down. Angles go down for that, but this one just gives me plus one for three different categories, so yes. Sports car as well can get a few stats there, so might as well. Yeah, we'll buy an 80s car as well. Why not? I really don't like buying the ones that renew because that means I have to talk to somebody and like, oh, you want to renew this? I'd rather avoid meetings as long as I can. However, I do not want to avoid purchasing a gymnasium. So give me that. It's kind of funny, but I'm also going to buy the small gym. So I bought the big gym before the small one. Eh, it is what it is. And we are now 80 overall. How about that? We hit the big 8-0. So the plan for this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick line rundown. Then obviously we're going to play some games, but we do want to get past the trade deadline so that in the next video, we can finish up the year and hopefully make the playoffs. I think we're actually doing all right. So... Our playoff hopes are very much alive. Our first line is Mason McTavish playing with Trevor and Frank. It's a okay first line. Then we have Barabanov with Terry and DeBrusque. Our third line's quite nice with Bokefist, Strom, and Mantha. I'm in. The top four for defense on this team is nuts. Pesci, Hannafin, Fowler, and Drysdale. Very, very clutch. And in net, we have Scott Sterling backed up by, well, I mean, we're kind of the backup. I don't really know. Actually, I should go check how many games we've each played. Or I can just do it here. He's played 17, we've played 30. His save percentage is much better than mine. So is his goals against average. Smaller sample size, you know? The first matchup here is against Le Canadien de Montreal. They are 21, 20, and 3. This should be a win, but anything could happen. So let's go ahead, jump into the simulation here, and see what does happen. And I will turn up the simulation speed. Hopefully... I thought they were going to score on the first shot again. I was going to be so upset. Like, really? This is how we're starting the video? Very solid first period. Okay, so shots are 14 to 12. Score is 1-0. Both of those in favor of your mighty ducks. Our fourth line is putting up points. How about that? Okay. 2-0. Halfway. 3-0. Barabanov decides he wants to add on. Love that for us. So we are definitely going into this third period with a comfortable lead, but there is something else on the line. And I'm going to say it because I don't care. It's a shutout. Here we go, lads. Nice draw win right off the bat here. For some reason, I thought he was about to get labeled in the middle. But nope, he managed to kind of farm it. I mean, to be fair, the other guy didn't really step into the hit either. McTavish goes cross ice to Pesci. Oh! No one's going to stand up for their teammate. Really? Is that the kind of team I play on? Yeah, right, Caulfield. I did pass that out. And it didn't register. Which I'm going to... Yep, fine. Although I do think that was a safe pass. Because there was only one person to my left. And it was a duck. But you never know. Maybe... Some player was ready to come flying in, and I just wasn't aware of it. Threw a screen, and I will toss that out over there. All their players backed off. Wow. All right, thank you. Never been shown respect like that before. Another save. 2-5. Is that Slav? Guy just ran me. And no one on the team even paid attention. Oh, you're kidding me! No! I made the save and then I didn't. Absolutely brutal. Show me the replay. Because I think I, I got a piece of it with the mitten. Just maybe not enough of a piece of it. You know what I'm saying? That's a wonderful replay. Thank you for that. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking. And... Yeah, so I had the post covered. He passed it in front. Unbelievable. Well, the shutout's no longer on the line, but... 
There is still 15 minutes for me to blow this lead, so. <laughs> it is power play time for the mightiest of ducks. Hopefully we can get another one here and regain that four goal lead. Nice try. I like it. Okay. I mean, we got the one chance and now they are headed right back this way. So maybe try to like maintain possession or something like that. Again! Are you kidding me? Make a save, dude. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. I don't believe it. This is ridiculous. There is absolutely no reason for me to have slid all the way over there. First of all, great shot block, second of all. And third of all, this game's a joke. Nice try. So not only did they manage to kill that penalty off, but they also got a goal. Both goals they scored went off of my mitt and... All right, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I think not. Let's see here. The puck. Anderson, he passes it. Let's try to go super slow-mo. And... No, this is getting out of hand. Was my positioning perfect on these? No, probably not. But it was good enough to get a piece of it. Because every single goal that they have gotten in this third period hit me in some way, shape, or form. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let's get it started here. We're having a goalie fight and two players going at it at the same time, which means I only get to see their health bar. All right, all right. I don't even know who I'm fighting. Who is it? It is Jake Allen. Okay, all right. And, ooh, didn't connect with that one, did you? Anderson, you better... Wait. Did he go down? They're both, like, tied. Okay, I should focus on this fight. No! They won that one. All right, that's lame. Well, see you later. At least we went one for one. Oh, interesting. If you fight while there's another fight, then it doesn't become a four-on-four. -four. Is it, like, a delay of game call or something? That... I don't know. They're gonna score again, aren't they? They... What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on? I did not, I swear I did not do that. This tethering must be stopped. Look how far. Look how far this slide is. For what reason? You guys have a, an explanation? Because I don't. I am genuinely sick to my stomach. A save. Do you believe it? Here comes another one. Basically every shot they take goes in. At least it seems that way. You know when I was saying, oh yeah, better not screw this lead up. Like, I was joking. It actually happened. Here we are. It is a 4-4 hockey game. Thankfully, we aren't losing at the... I was about to lose it. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> this game is really trying me. Oh, yes it is. A save again? What is going on? I feel like I should just sit here, honestly. Like, this is probably my best chance. Okay, I gotta challenge the shooter a little bit, but... Like, why does he go that far left? I don't understand that. I barely touched it. So, the oversliding on the other one was definitely me. But is there a way to, like, adjust the sensitivity here? And now, we have all these chances but can't score. All of a sudden, their goalie has become an actual brick wall. Like, they just built it. In between the second and third. Come on. Tip that. He's even saving. It, we're losing. We're 100% losing this game. Yes! We're not losing! We are not losing! He's going to celebrate like that for a go-ahead goal with 24 left? Highly unlikely. Okay, okay, composure. Let's go and save some pucks or something like that. Good goal, Trevor. No. I see you trying, Suzuki. I see you. <laughs> no comment. Absolutely none. Okay, we did finally win the game. 
That's what we call in the industry a close call. 37 shots, it's not 40. That was way, and I mean way closer than it had any business being. Why'd we just get three out of nowhere? So where is glove high? Because that needs <laughs> 90, I think not. Well, okay, sure. Birch is straight, and that's all we get, really. I'll improve glove low as well, because that whole side is just not it. They are starting Gibson against the 18th placed Winnipeg Jets. Let's see how this one goes. We currently have 26 wins, and we remain at 26. I'm not sure if that was an overtime or regulation loss. I kind of feel like it was a regulation loss, but we will be in against the 28, 15, and 2 Golden Knights. All right, I think what I'm going to do is just play my three games as soon as we can, and then we'll simulate all the way up to this Dallas one. Yeah, that's probably the move. So let's see what the Golden Knights are made of. They are fourth in the league. We are eighth. Simulate the times eight speed. Don't you dare. Okay. All right. I like that start. Now we have a power, and mm, I really like this start. It's not like it matters though. We could be up four nothing. Apparently. Nice, Frankie! Scores as soon as the second period begins. Now we have the insurance marker, and let's add to- Oh no, I don't like where this is going, actually. Barbashev scores, so at least we broke the pattern. Appreciate that. 4-1! And only 15 shots? Not looking good for old Lenski. Here we go again. This time, it is against the Golden Knights. And we have- what appears to be a comfortable lead, but hold your horses. With Scott Sterling in the net, things could get zesty real quick, and it doesn't help that we just took a penalty. Not ideal. Here we go. They did win the draw. He's got possession of it, makes a save. Okay, I'm gonna kinda not hug the post here. Come out a little bit, challenge the shooter, nice! Okay, I... Sir! 100% I'm fighting. Wasn't he already in the box? Didn't Bokvist just get that one? Yeah. Also, this guy puts on the nice jersey number. Respect. They did win the draw again. And we started off with a blocker save. Did we? I think we only trained Glove with those trait points, right? Or did we... Was it high for both? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, positioning got out of control real quick. I was trying to multitask and it was not happening. But dude, I was gonna say, get it out of here. I'm not gonna let this game get in my head. You know what? So what we let in four goals in 20 minutes last game. Not mad, not even mad at all, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. We're back to even strength. So we killed off the five on three and the five on four and now there we go. Toss it out to you. I swear I just heard a whistle. <laughs> that really threw me off. Barabanov skates right into the defender, but it kind of worked for him. So, well, and then you go and do that. Yep. I'm going to regret this. I'm not. I actually didn't regret it. I really thought I was, though. That came from the heart. I was like, yeah, like, this is not gonna go my way. I swear I saved that with my toenail. I think this year I do actually want to do another goalie be a pro. Like, once this one's done, I think I want to start another one. And depending on whether or not they fix things, because, I mean, like, in terms of the rosters, I might just start in the NHL. Because I think if you start in the NHL, then it actually uses the up-to-date roster, whereas, you know, I saw a comment, and I think it's kind of been like this for years anyway, if you start in the CHL or the CHL, <laughs> I guess, then it uses the EA rosters instead. I don't know why. If whatever I just said doesn't make any sense, then it's because I was multitasking. <laughs> I was trying to save pucks while also explaining how bad my positioning was there, but thankfully, he shot it to my glove. Nice, we're going to the power play. That is huge. Get me out of here. To the bench. Come on, let me get to the bench. Con Smythe winner. 
Yeah, right. This will be a massive win if we can pull this off. Because they were up there in the league. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's the trick. You just gotta, like, sort of remain calm. Way easier said than done. But it does help. At least it feels that way. Yes! Fire me vertical. Troy Terry on the doorstep is going to put home our fifth goal. And now we have an extremely comfortable lead. Well, maybe not, actually. But with how much time's left in the game and how we sort of bounce back in this one, I think we're chilling. Here comes Pi Trangelo. Goes behind the net. Tries to pass it in front, but a great breakup by Fowler. DeBrusque is now headed back the other way. Gets right by his guy. That goal would have been nasty. Point shot. Once again. Once again. Controller vibrated. Meaning it hit me. This is unacceptable. Let's... It was a good shot. It was a good shot. But I still feel I should have had it. I mean, it was through a crowd, I guess. But, yep. Amazing. Whatever. Not gonna let it phase me. We still have a good lead here. Let's just shut it down for the rest of the game. <laughs> no! Don't even think about it! Alright, as I was saying, let's shut her down here. Yep. Stoner wants to win this one. You can tell. That, like, scared me. I wasn't ready for that for some reason. Beautiful. Thank you, Jackery. Headed to the power play. 33 seconds left. It is a lock. Like, dude! Save it! And actually save it. You know? Stop redirecting it. Their defense just backed up and let them have that. But I, I'm still fuming. Like, even though that didn't go in, why? Can you not just make a regular save? You know what, James? How about we don't take a look at what happened tonight in the National Hockey League? Is that a crazy idea? We are starting against the Coyotes, who are 28th. I think I'm just going to sim this whole game. We'll see, actually, where it is, but probably just going to go through the whole thing here. 2-1. Still 2-1. Shots are... Nah, we'll go. All right. Big win. The Oilers are also doing quite well. I think they are ninth in the league, so we might jump into this one. Also, just so I can play against Connie McDusty. There he is. Yam scores to start the second. We're down. You know what? No, I'm not jumping into this one. Let's just go here. And we get shut out. Phenomenal. We're playing so many good teams here. We got Colorado now, who is fifth in the league, with a record of 30-18-2. and two. Let's see how the simulation goes here, and depending, we will jump in or not. Times eight. Let's go Ducks. We got our first shot eight minutes into the game and we still only had, we had scored on shorthanded. Okay, thank you, Frank. At least we tied it up. And again, we currently have three shots. Maybe we should start putting some biscuits towards the net. We had another power play. We did not capitalize, but McGinn scores after the fact. What is Colorado doing? Scoring goals is what they're doing. Steven. Barry's won. It is a 2-2 hockey game. At least get to 20 shots. At least do that for me. Thank you. Yes! Troy Terry! Barry's won on... You legends. Let's go. McKinnon, Rantanen, and Makar are still on this team, which... In the be a pro realm, that is wild. I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered! Is this some kind of sick joke? Like, am I being pranked right now? What is happening? Almost. We almost got our two-goal lead back, but instead, we're headed to a penalty kill. Captain Frank to the rescue. All right, let's go. Let's kill this off. Get some momentum here. And no, no. There's literally no way. What, what happened? What did this go off of? I guess he tipped it. But... No! It was just a clear in... Are you kidding me? I... Am I getting... Oh no, they took a timeout. Am I crazy? Am I insane? 
Should I not be saving these? This game is doing me so dirty right now, it's not even funny. There has been some where my positioning was probably less than ideal. I'll admit that. But there is no excuse for all these ones that aren't getting tipped, are just coming straight at me. My positioning's good. Like, is it is it an overall thing? Because I feel like I was making those saves as a lower overall. Is it possible that they nerfed goalies in an update? Because I know the goalies were insane. And I swear, there was one update where after I just immediately noticed a difference. Again, I could be insane. But it really does feel that way. Thank you. At least we got one. The man who took the penalty. You don't get to celebrate like that. You owed us that goal. Even that was way closer than it needed to be. That was scary. No. Like, I can't save- I literally can't save anything. It's impossible. I- <laughs> It's getting to the point that it is actually kind of funny. My positioning here was fine. Like, it was absolutely fine. And that- <laughs> Whatever. Even that, like, I didn't save it, really. I did, but, like, I didn't have control of it. Whew. Go in. Yeah, of course, their goalie can do all this acrobatic stuff. And I can't even save one that is shot pretty much right into the glove. I am nothing shy of disgusted at what has taken place here today. Now we're taking- Can we at least get it to overtime and get one point? Can save that one just fine. Is- Well, no, it's not even just our glove side because the first shot that Nate took went off the blocker, pop flied, and somehow went in. So, it's everywhere. There we go. Another one. I'll just kind of chill here for now. Again, you gotta get rid of it. And I knew that was coming. Big save. Please just... You know what? It got over the blue line. I'm happy. Yo. I don't want to play. I don't want to play this game anymore. I genuinely need you guys to tell me. Like, am I doing something wrong? Is it me? Or is this some of the largest, biggest BS you have ever seen? I don't even care that we scored. Watch, they're going to score right here anyway. Almost! Almost! They almost did. Come on. We got a three-on-one here. And we blow it. Here comes the Colorado Avalanche. Nate Mack. Just absolutely flying and then does that. Surprised I saved it, though. Didn't go off my glove, off my blocker, off my helmet, and crossbar, and then in. That one's on me. Also, are we just going to ignore the fact that they have Bergeron and Stamkos as well? How's that happen then? I'm simulating the whole month of February. We're going past the trade deadline. See if our team does anything. Actually, I will stop right before so that we could have a look at our team, you know, get the before and after picture. But I, I need to stop. I need to stop playing this game right now because I am going to actually snap. I don't know if they released a tuner or something or what's going on, but it has gone horribly wrong. This is our squadron pre-trade deadline. It's probably what it's going to look like post-trade deadline as well, but we can still check just to be sure. Goalies. Yep. All right. Let's sim past it and see if the GM does anything. It's taking a while here. Clearly there's some big moves going on. Holy. This is taking forever. It's like a thousand trades happening. Yep. Yeah, doesn't really look like much changed on the offense. So still got what we got. Defense. Nothing. Yep, we just kept our team. Which, you know what? I guess fair enough. We are doing quite well. Our record is, what, 35? 
21 and 8. Yeah, we're fifth in the league. You would still think you'd want to add some pieces to have the extra push. Maybe not. Currently, we are second in the Pacific Division with 78 points and we have 64 games played. Here we are at fifth in the entire league. It is still anybody's race. Like we could really win the president's trophy. It's not out of reach. This man is going off. 76 points in 64 games. Frankie Tomatoes, 63 points in 64 games. Frank Terry's doing pretty solid considering he is on the second line, 57 points. Uh, nope, not what I wanted to do. Goalies, I mean, our stats are decent somehow. I'm not really sure how we managed to pull that off. And Gibson is doing very well. Hasn't played a lot of games, but nearly a 920 save percentage. Attaboy, John. Flower at 83 overall, leading the league with 34 wins, and he has a 912 save percentage while doing it. Nice. Vanacek is up there, 33 wins, a 913. Makar's gonna get 100 points this year. He currently has 80 in 60 games. He's also third in the entire league at the moment, with only McDusty and Dreisaitl being ahead of him. All right, so I don't know if I have to change some settings or something, but this is, this is not okay. What happened here today is unacceptable. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, at least it was entertaining for you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. If you could leave a like, that'd be fire. I'll see you soon.